In the final section of our 2D Trust tutorial, we're going to take a look at controlling analysis and viewing results. Visual Analysis automatically calculates results for you, so all you have to do is switch to the result view to see them. In order to control the analysis, you get at the project settings in the project manager when nothing is selected. You can choose the analysis type here as well as other more advanced options. You can also control what gets analyzed in the load case manager. You can turn off the analysis of individual service cases or load combinations that you may have set up. Sometimes things don't go right. You can check your model or validate results using handy tools that visual analysis provides. When we switch to the result view, you can use the project manager to look at results for this uh, active load case or result case. You can switch the result case and see how those results change. Here you will also find statics checks, the sum of forces uh, applied compared to the reaction forces calculated, and also self-weight. Use the result view filter to change what you can see in the result view. You can turn off the display shape, for example. You can change what type of member results are displayed. So here we can turn on the axial forces and view them as colors on the, on the frame. You can toggle legends and extreme values. We can turn on moments and we can view those as a diagram right on the structure. If you want more details, you can select a member and create a member graph, which will show you displacements, shears, moments, etc. Uh, for that member or a chain of members that form a line. With a single member selected, the Results tab will show you the range of results for the active load case uh, for that member. We can also create a text report for anything that's selected, and this report will be filtered for the current result case and is automatically generated. You can customize this report uh, by removing tables, for example, you could also change which result cases are displayed in the report. Here we're going to add a couple of additional tables to our report just by dragging and dropping from the Add Tables uh, section in Project Manager. If you want to rearrange the table, again you just go to the Modify tab and you can drag and drop the tables. To customize table properties, click on a table in the report and then you can add and remove columns using the Modify tab or change whether you're showing extreme rows only for results. The report automatically updates. You can also save your report to a text file or a PDF, export it to a different program. If you want to add graphics into your report, Visual Analysis lets you copy any graphic view and then go to the report and paste it in as a table. It'll appear in the list of tables as a clipboard image and you can drag and drop that to position it in your report. That's it for the 2D tutorial. Thanks for watching.